Good evening, guys. It's uh, August 5th of 2021. Andrew Tucker here. It's been a while since I did an agronomy update video, so I wanted to make one tonight. Talk a little bit about this year, some of the difficulties we faced and, and uh, things that have gone well and things that we could still improve on. I'm in a field over by Darlington. Uh, this field, I've been working with this customer in this field for uh, about six years now. Um, it is an extremely variable field. I made a prescription planning map for them based off of multiple years of yield data. Uh, this is typically rotated corn and beans every year. And um, if I'll sh turn the camera down and you can see, it's very rocky. See some of the rocks through here. Um, gets pretty shallow in a lot of spots. And we picked a corn hybrid this year. I'm actually recommended BO2 V87. I've talked about that one quite a bit. It's a very consistent yielding um, Aquamax product from Corteva. Um, I've had a lot of success with it. Uh, originally it was in a new tech bag and with some of the mergers and changes, um, it is now in the Bravant bag. And um, I like it. It's just the growers that have grown it in the past, um, always order it again the next year, sometimes order more um, the following year than they've ordered the previous year. It can handle a lot of different conditions. You know, it may not, it's not a racehorse type, it's more of that workhorse type hybrid. And uh, for this particular field, um, I know it can be challenging, um, especially with this, with the field variability. So we made a, a prescription map. Uh, I ranged that prescription from around 27,000 plants per acre all the way up to, um, I believe we ran it to 36. Um, I'd have to go back and check. I did look at the planning map and the, where I'm sitting right now, we're standing right now, um, I had it set to 30,000. We got about 24,000 plants up. Um, this wasn't planted with anything fancy. It was a Kinsey planter, um, has air uh, down pressure on the row units, and it's still a, a finger pickup meter. And, uh, and the spacing wasn't great. Uh, population came out really close, uh, but we had a lot of plants, like you see here, two of these close together. Um, the airbags really did not perform well. Uh, these plants were later coming out of the ground. That one, the ears way down there. A couple of these haven't even really finished. They probably just finished pollinating, but you can see the difference between these ears and some of the other ears out here. Uh, but the cool thing is, you know, where we have finished pollinating, um, you don't see a lot of tip back. And uh, occasionally this ear, we might see a little bit there, um, a little bit there, but a lot of these ears were able to pollinate all the way to the top. And if we had gotten even emergence out here, having uh, hydraulic downforce on the planter, um, I think we'd be really happy with, with what we're looking at. I'm still happy. I think the variety is, is the perfect variety for this field. Um, if we look at two plants that are spaced um, properly apart, which we have right here. So um, that is pretty close to ideal spacing those might be slightly closer together these are a little farther apart but overall that's pretty good and uh, look at the consistency of these ears um, the plant height's the same between all four of these this is what we want to see filled out to the tip so the way the planter performs is is drastically going to affect your yield especially on a year like this year and you match that planting technology up with the right genetics for that field. Again, look at the rocks all over the place here. We were about 10 inches shy of normal rainfall and these plants look great. There's no burning up, no firing up. There you can see a little bit of disease starting on a couple of the leaves, but we're gonna have that this year from what we're seeing out there. But this is why I got into technology, because if you got the right player technology and you can get the spacing and height and, and emergence right, then you're gonna have yield. But you can have the right hybrid out here for this field. If you don't get them out of the ground at the same time, you're gonna have to start having some issues. You know, look at the spacing there. We got four plants really close together, not good. It's even affecting these a little bit. That's what we want to see. So 
What I'm trying to do is help guys pick the right genetics for the field based on uh, previous yield data and, and soil. I'm trying to help them have the right planting technology so that we can get the right spacing, we can get even emergence, you know, and that's how we're gonna grow and that's how we're gonna weather some of the environmental factors that are gonna, um, gonna hurt us on a typical year. So we can really weather these storms well I just almost thought that was tar spot. And we are seeing tar spot spots too, but we can really weather the storms well if we have the right planting technology out there combined with the right genetics for the field and the right nutrition. Oh, I didn't talk about nutrition yet. This field was a one pass nitrogen system. It's on the contour. It's really hard to, uh, to do uh, post applications without running down crops. So this was a one pass application, again, very rocky ground. We were able to hold the nitrogen there. It's, it's probably helped us. We haven't had um, over amounts of rainfall, but this was just, uh, if I remember right, it was about 55 gallons of a 20 or a 32% in ATS mixture. And we had Instinct in there. And Instinct stabilizer is huge this year. There's no other stabilizer on the market that kept nitrogen to the plants this year like Instinct did. And it's, it's pretty obvious looking around. Um, so combination of good agronomy, good management, good hybrid, good planting technology. And I think guys are in for a pretty good year. As soon as we start putting the wrong hybrid on the wrong acre, maybe don't have our nitrogen stabilized quite right, don't have the right planting technology, those fact, the combination of factors could easily cost us 100 bushel an acre this year. So this year is gonna really show us where we're doing a really good job and where we've got room for improvement. So if I can help you out at all, planning technology for next year, Egg Leaders already said, don't expect new planter systems for 2022 ordered after this date. Precision planning um, is doing okay right now. The Gen 3 monitor is not available, but the Gen 2 is. There's a pretty good program on that. Um, I do have potentially one Gen 3 available if a guy wants to order a complete planter system. Um, we sold one just the other day here another one and uh, uh so planning technology is critical if you're going to spend your money on one thing going into next year get that planter set up right because i've seen it every year and especially this year if it's planted right you're most likely going to have pretty good yield again have the right hybrid in the field have the right uh, nutrition and the right management there but it starts with planting it right so if i can help you out at all or any of us at nutrient egg please give us a call uh, we're here to, to help you grow and, and uh, keep up with the changing times here in agronomy. And uh, we want you to have the best yields possible for your fields. So thanks for watching this, guys. Um, hope you have a great rest of the week and weekend, and we'll catch you next time.